I think one of the reasons that it's been difficult for me to tell people, be healed, is because I had a friend who was used by God to bring healing to many people. He had tremendous faith in that area. And on one occasion when I was sick and I asked that he would pray for me, he laid hands on me and I was instantly healed. I know God heals like that when he chooses to. I mean, I was instantly healed. When he put his hand on me, I felt as if somebody had hooked me up to an electrical generator. Okay? I mean, it was like zzzz. Didn't hurt, just really was weird. Okay? It was like, I'll I'll tell you how I know that it's like electricity. I used to have a mini bike, and... um, I accidentally stuck my thumb on the spark plug one time trying to shut it off because there was supposed to be a little metal thing that was bent over the spark plug and you just press that metal thing down and it grounded the spark plug and shut off the engine. And while I was riding the mini bike, the little metal thing had vibrated around on that little engine and it was no longer over the spark plug. But I didn't look, I just reached down there like I had countless times before put my thumb on what I thought was that metal thing, and instead I was putting it on the spark plug. And I literally came up in the air, and the mini bike kept going. <laughs> I, I wish that I had that for America's Funniest Home Videos. But um, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like an electrical shock when this guy touched me, and, and I was instantly healed. And I mean, it wasn't like, you know, I'm feeling kind of queasy. Could you please pray for me? Pray. Oh, I think I feel better. Um, it, I had swollen glands. They were visibly swollen, and you could palpate them, and they were very sore. My sinuses were so totally blocked that I could not breathe through my nose. My throat was very sore. I had congestion in my bronchial tubes so that when I coughed, it was like a productive cough, okay? And and I was on penicillin, and I was running a fever. And I'd gotten up from my sickbed to go share my germs with my brothers and sisters in Christ. That wasn't my intent. I went down there to ask for prayer. And, And when he came and he laid his hands on me, all of a sudden my sinuses were open, and... My throat wasn't sore, and my glands weren't swollen, and there was no congestion in my lungs or my bronchial passages, and my fever was gone. I was instantly, supernaturally healed in the name of Jesus. So I know God does that kind of thing. But that friend who prayed for so many people and saw so many amazing healings through his simple faith, The power of God at work in him. Went to Africa. Was bitten by a mosquito. Had not gotten any shots because he was seeking to just trust God for healing. Refused medication and medical care. Developed malaria, encephalitis, and a third condition beside, I forget. And died on Easter Sunday. Wow. How could that happen? I mean, the guy was in his 40s. He had a wife and three kids. What happened? He died. Yeah, but there were thousands of people praying for him to be healed. Well, he went to heaven instead. Is there a better healing? Well, yeah, for his wife and kids. Really? You know better than God? It was shortly after that that God gave me my oldest son, who was born with multiple birth defects. Okay. So now we've got a child who's going to need lots of medical care. 
who's going to be in a wheelchair, who's not expected to live a normal lifespan. God, I know that you are able to heal. I've seen you do it. I've experienced it in my own life. What is going on? I'll tell you, brothers and sisters, I don't know all that is going on. But I know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, that he still has the power to heal, and he still does heal. And I have seen him heal in the years since. And I've had friends who've died, other friends who died in their 40s, leaving wives and children. And I've seen other people get sick, and I've thought, well, pff, you know, <laughs> I, I know what's going to happen here. This is a, and God healed them. And I was shocked. I don't always know what Jesus is up to. But I'll tell you this, Jesus always knows what he's up to. Amen. 